Jamie got the, me a really fun um, transfer, like gift slash kick. So I just wanted to show it off because I can do that. Um, so this is what it looks like. How cute is that? It's fun. Fun stuff. I got some soups. And I eat really healthy, as you can tell. Um, I also had some sour cream and cheese potato chips, but I ate those already. Um, and oatmeal. And socks that say, let's stick together. Aren't those so cute? You know, so the embryo sticks like the little heart on the cactus. Okay. And pregnancy tea. And jerky. And soups. And then she got me these football cards, which have Russell Wilson and Doug Baldwin. And it's because every year in fantasy football, I basically win because of the Wilson to Baldwin touchdowns. Yep. And some fruit bar and some more socks to keep my feet warm. Because you're supposed to keep your feet warm. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. That's why I bought your socks. Tomato soup and some Tylenol and some Star Wars trading cards. I guess so when I get bored laying in bed, I can look at those. My favorite chocolates. My Yay! favorite wife. <laughs> that is <didn't> the favorite <laughs> <laughs> um, Some panty liners because... Things are happening soon. The Tomorrow things down there are real. Progesterone. Um, the Tomatoes. suppositories. Tomatoes. Oh, gosh. And then good little pineapples. One so can... to try to figure out how to cut and the other one. I have directions for you, but because if you eat the pineapple core, it's supposed to be really good stickiness for the um, embryo. He does get really excited for the embryo to stick. So we are so excited. Hi. Morning. We are on our way to the clinic. What are we gonna do today? Um, we're gonna put an embryo. In. <gasps> what? Guys, I'm getting knocked up. Oh my god. She stole that from. I did. I took that from Morgan. Thanks, yeah. Morgan, because it made me laugh really hard. And so everyone just tells everyone at work, I'm getting knocked up, Freddie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's also easier for them to understand because they don't really understand. Every time I said, oh, my transfer's coming up, they all thought I was transferring to another so. location. <laughs> and I was like, no. Uh, like, I had a lot of people, a lot of my coworkers, like, confront me and be all angry and be like you're leaving us and I'm like I don't know what you're talking about and they're like your transfer and I was like yeah I'm transferring an embryo into my uterus <laughs> and that still didn't make sense so. yeah to well some of them some of them but um we've gotten so much love and positive vibes yes, today it's so, so nice thank, thank you. you to everybody like it's we feel wonderful. so loved yes um big day but yeah I got this cute pineapple shirt styling you see it's little pineapples. Um, and I don't know, what else? I've been drinking water all morning. I did a meditation um, right before we left the house. Yep, Circle and Bloom, it's really good. They have the one for transfer day. Cool. Um, I have your phone. Oh, just went off in my back pocket. <laughs> and like, well, um, yeah, so, <clears throat> yep. We're now good. we're excited. Yes, very excited. Um, I elbowed Jamie in the mouth today by accident, and now she's mad at me. I'm not mad. I just my <laughs> tooth moved just a little bit on the bottom. It was an accident. Yeah, I'm fine. It's fine. It was a process because I went. I was about to shower, and I was like, "She's just waking up. I should really go, just give her, you know, some positive energy and wake her and or say hi, good morning, and happy transfer day." And so I'm like, "Good morning, happy transfer day." And, I like whammed her. I went to like go give her a hit and she like leaned somehow and just full blown whoopah, in my face, which caused my like chin to cause my lower teeth to tuck the knock nam 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 tooth. I was rolling over but like I have to like prop myself up because if I put any pressure on where the injection sites are, it does hurt. So um my elbow slipped when I was like going to prop myself up and it, it hit her in the face. I just have to be careful with with loving I'm learning like get too loving get to get bit yeah I'm kidding it was an accident Sorry. I'm surviving Sorry. it I, at least the teeth are still there that was the concern at first I thought they both fell out and I was like man this is gonna be super embarrassing yeah. going to the clinic 
with two missing teeth. Yeah. But it, really they're still here, so we're good. Yeah, they're still there. They say like break a leg before, you know, like you go on stage. So I think this was just like the break a, break break a tooth, tooth before you go to <laughs> your transfer. <laughs> so that's like a new saying, guys. <laughs> and so if we start telling you to break your teeth, you know, on Instagram, you know why. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, um, speaking of Instagram, so um, for our two week wait, um, we are gonna do kind of an early announcement once we have results, but we've decided we are only gonna announce to those who are following us on Instagram and you guys here on YouTube. Yeah, um, and that'll be after we like talk to the people. After we talk to our are... close family and friends and tell them, then we'll, but we're making our Instagram private. So if you're not following us there, um, just for the time being with the early announcement, um, later on it will become public again. But if you're not following yeah. us on there, please do. It's um, the Pal Tribe on Instagram. And um, so yeah, we just want, we're cautiously excited. Yeah, I mean, and I and I think it's just, you know, we really, we, we wanna share it yeah. with everybody. And we're definitely gonna share it a lot earlier than I think we normally would if this wasn't going on. Yeah, a lot earlier. Um, but don't so, be worried if yeah. a period of time hits and you don't hear what's going on. We are it doesn't sharing. Mean yeah, we are sharing with family and friends before we share with you guys. And you are our friends, but we're just gonna yes. have some some people that aren't aware of this journey thus far and aren't watching. We're gonna let them in the know a little earlier. Yeah, just because we wouldn't want them to find out. Yeah, on a on a on a vlog. Yeah, you know? we want so. we want to be able to share um, with our family and friends like vulnerably and authentically and we don't want it to like get to them before, before we, do. we do yeah um, so that's the plan so, so we're excited. and you guys will hear from us you're going the wrong way honey Oy, that's not the right road. oh it's okay honey it's okay he's real he's old, old. <laughs> oh, god bless his soul i swear I, we're right in front of the fertility clinic and there's a man and he's in the lane coming at us and like we always have drama when we drive when we're on this thing but that was like as close that to was, a car wreck yeah pretty as intense. we've gotten so that's all right um so yeah, should just don't be alarmed um, with the two-week wait if you guys don't hear from us right away. It's yeah. just because we're sharing with our family and friends. Please be patient with us. We appreciate your love and support. And we're very excited to share and the news. Whatever. We are very excited. And whatever it is, you know, we're on this journey and we, here we are. Yeah. We're very excited. We are very so. excited. Okay. So we are at the clinic. We're going to walk in. I'm going to chug some more water. Yep. I've been chugging too, which isn't good because I'll just have to pee 38 pee times. 30. Like, can you hold on a moment? I'm going to pee. <laughs> Anyways, All right. Okay. Anyways, we'll see you guys. Bye. Hello. Oh, how are you? Hi. You ready? Hi. Hi. Well, we got a very nice looking ambulance. Yeah. Very good news. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Put your feet up. I think it's um, perfect for you. Oh, they're on the other side. A little bit of pressure. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. You don't know if there's any discomfort. Are you all right? Yep. Okay. Just going to open this back a little bit for sure. You all right? So that was the outer catheter, and now we're going to get the inner catheter that has the embryo, put that through the outer catheter into that spot. Feeling okay? Mm -hmm. You should feel it.
Sometimes they stick to the cap and then you just reload them. Really? Oh. About maybe one out of 20. Huh. That's no effect on pregnancy. Yeah. How interesting. I mean, curiosity. Yeah. Wow. I that happened about four times. Wow. We just we kept seeing the cap. Where? Wow. And the embryo is now graduating from college. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> How do you feel? Oh, you have a picture in your hand. OMG. Keep the dragons together. Perfect. Well, that went perfectly. Yay. Thank you. Good luck to you. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's crazy. I kind of see. I didn't see it go in, but then when you were like, "Oh, is that it?" I only saw it when you pulled away the. Huh? Yeah. I saw it when you pulled the like. Yeah. How are you feeling? Good. I'm <laughs> cold. And what were you saying about shivering? Oh, I shiver when I'm like nervous or excited, so I'm cold, and I have to pee, and I'm excited. <laughs> so you're shivering so away. I'm shivering. But look. That's our embryo. So crazy. So fun. Yeah. Yay. Oh, Chelsea's eating pineapple that Amy cut. Thank you. She cut it all by herself. I watched. I learned. She'll cut the next one. Yeah. See, she taught me initially. Here's your coloring book. Amy got a Darth Vader and family coloring book. And pencils. Yeah. So when. Oh. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, bye. I need your pen. Hi. Hi. <laughs> it's been a Friends and bad day for Chelsea. Yeah, I've been watching Friends. I'm on episode six of the season one. Of She's season step one. it up. It's already like nighttime. She, well, these people keep interrupting me. I'm just kidding. Our, uh, or, um, in bed. Um, our friend Amy came by. And she brought, she brought me some yummy cookies and some, um, some yummy cookies and this buffalo chicken dip that I really like that she makes. Mm -hmm, it's good. And, um, she brought me a Star Wars coloring book, which I think you'll show already. Anyways, and she taught Jamie how to cut a pineapple. Yay, pineapple! So I could eat some it's of the corn. It's pretty complex. Looking. It is complex. But it actually, once she got going, it looked pretty good. It just seemed harder than it was. Yeah. So, transfer went really good. Um, the actual transfer didn't take very long at all. And it was actually, it felt like a pap smear, honestly. Hmm. Um, and... I haven't had, I mean, I'm a little sleepy now, but all day I haven't had, like, any symptoms or anything. I don't know. I'm feeling okay. She laughed been... a lot. Yeah, well, I'm watching Friends. I know. <laughs> it's funny. We were in there cutting pineapple, and you're, we just keep hearing you laugh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh. Um, and Jamie's been really good to me. She's been, she's like, don't bend over. You're not supposed to bend over. So I was like, okay, don't bend over. So she drops her phone on purpose. I get up. I did. <laughs> yeah, I did that. Did you really? No. <laughs> oh, I was like, man. Um, it was really cool though because the transfer. If you watch close enough, you can just see the little white dot, which is the embryo, be placed in my uterus. So yeah. My hand got shaky. Um, so it was really cool. I was like really focused. Like, oh, I like really wanted to see the embryo. So like, I just kept focusing on. Yeah the screen and, and like I didn't what our see doctor what was happening did you when it was happening mm -hmm. i didn't i couldn't and then after you guys pointed i was like oh there it is yeah what was your experience of the transfer um well for me like i wasn't really sure what to you know expect and then i always have a hard time with the ultrasounds understanding what's going on in it and i i didn't even though i was focusing in i was even zoomed in like on it but anyways so then you pointed at the thing and i like saw it but what was weird is like i could feel the cold air coming from like the area that was over here where it was like frozen like you could tell that was like a freezer area yeah that's where they kept where they kept the, the embryos and things um but like when it came time i like and that probably sound kind of weird but um 
I felt like, and I, I'll just give you like context. I don't know why this, but I've always just felt like I have like, um, I just, I'm very empathetic and I can experience other people's energy, not in like a crazy weird way, but just like, I feel like I, she's very in tune with like, like other intuitive. Energy. Yeah. And so I can, like, I'm very observant, like to like people, like just she's, things in life. She'll like happening. really notice like, like something around and I won't notice like that there's like, but a she notices road. like if somebody's feeling off, she'll be like, did you know this, that person was feeling off? And I'm like, nah, no. Or when I walk into a room, but, like I can just immediately like sense like just people, what they're experiencing. And I know that sounds yeah. kind of silly and not fully, but like, you know, I don't have superpowers <laughs> at all. I'm not what? saying that. No, at I'm just all. teasing her. No, she's but not. I do feel like you know I can be like, oh, you know, oh, they're they're really anxious or something, and I think yeah, kind or of, nervous or nervous or or you know excited or just like I pick up on just stuff like that. And what was weird to me is like when, and I didn't really realize that it happened, but when the embryo was bought, brought into the room, I felt the energy in the room shift, and um, it was like crazy, and it brought me to tears because I just felt different energy and it was like whoa like this is happening right now this is the energy of like the embryo and I was like wow like this is it was overwhelming I was like and then I started realizing like holy crap we're putting an embryo like this is a child possibility yeah. like ah like so I it was really cool teared up and I couldn't breathe because I had this little mask on they had me put the mask on and the thing um so, and whenever I cry like my nose turns into Rudolph yeah. and I can't breathe out of it, but I couldn't breathe out of my mouth either. So toward the end, I was kind of like yeah. gasping. But it was really, it was really cool. It was a really cool experience. I'm really excited, and I feel very protective yeah. of you and the embryo right now, and making sure you guys are safe and comfortable. And right after transfer, they had me lay there for 20 minutes, and I drank a lot of water, which I was okay up until like right when transfer was happening. Then my bladder felt super full, so that was really uncomfortable. So just yeah. be very like, if you're going for transfer, be very mindful of the timing of how much you're drinking. Then we went and we got french fries because I read online that french fries from McDonald's is kind of like a good luck thing. And I just really like french fries, so for me it was an excuse to eat french fries. French fries. Um, and then yeah, so I've been laying in bed all day and getting up 15 minutes out of each hour to walk around, keep the blood flow going. I've been... You haven't really been laying. You've been like sitting up. Yeah, bed. I've been kind of more lounging. Mm -hmm. And um, it's weird because like I was eating lunch, which was um, noodle soup. And like, I was like, I feel like I'm supposed to be sick. Because I'm like laying in bed and everybody's like... Well, Jamie and then Amy came over and like, you know, just serving me and like being like so like, um, you know, caring. And I'm like, oh, I feel like I'm supposed to be sick, but I'm not, you know, like, you like, like you're being treated like you have, like you are sick or something. Yeah. Like how you would treat, treat someone who has a sickness or who just yeah. came out of surgery or something. Yeah. And I wanted to show you guys this. Jamie got me this for Christmas. It's a little journal that's super cute with arrows on it. One day I want to get an arrow tattoo, but that's in the future. Um, so I journaled my first day of this process. I decided that with um, just transfer and um, she was about to put Sophie up here. I was like, no. Uh, with transfer and pregnancy, I wanted to journal throughout it. So I journaled my first day. And um, we're scheduled to go back for blood test on the 10th. And then our pregnancy test is scheduled for the 15th. Yes. It's crazy to think that there's a little embryo in me. Like, I know. it's so strange. Like, I kind of forget, but then I don't forget. It's like I'm conscious of it, but I'm like, oh, yeah, that's it's happening. Cool. And I, like, I'm like, I don't know. It's so interesting. It's very cool. I'm very excited. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. It's exciting time. Toby can't handle life either. We will keep you posted. And like she said earlier, you know, we're going to. Definitely share the results early on, but it might not be yet right at the dates we're saying. Yeah. No. So don't be alarmed. It doesn't mean good or bad. Um, yeah. It just, you know, just is. So. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Thank you for Give all your love and support. A thumbs up if you're excited for our transfer and if you think that the embryo is so cute because everyone keeps saying the embryo is cute. It, it is, is cute. cute. <laughs> <laughs> and um, subscribe to our channel if you have not yet. This is going to be a very fun journey. Yeah, it's going to be an adventure. Lots of learnings for Jamie. 
yeah and me and thanks Chelsea. for all your guys's love and support and encouragement you guys are awesome we That's love true. you guys talk to you soon bye, bye.